Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's raining here, actually. It's actually snowing. It's snowing right now at like 29 degrees. And I think I'm gonna go, <clears throat> I was gonna go on a jog, but it's, uh, my running shoes get wet, my toes get wet, it gets really cold, so I'm wearing some boots. <clears throat> and, I don't think I could really run in them, so I'm just gonna do kind of like a walk sort of situation because I gotta get out of the house. I wanna talk about something. I was just um, was talking to some of my homies that I've sort of met on YouTube, a couple of people, and I wanted to give a shout out to everybody that's dealing with this today, that's suffering today with anxiety and depression. Um, we're all war warriors that are in a battle, um, a battle of spirit, a battle of mind, and there's there's a lot of different uh, modalities, and it, it almost becomes overwhelming. I've got one friend, I won't, you know, I'm not going to give names, um, he's an awesome guy, he, he was killing it, and um, God put him in my life for multiple reasons, um, which I won't get into the specifics of all of that, but... I will say that he um, he's, he's much like me, like a lot of us. Uh, one, of, one of my anxiety traits is that I am very indecisive, right? So I can't make decisions, um, and I can't stick to those decisions. So it's very hard. But, you know, he's got this list of all these things like herbs and this and that and, and things that people have told him on Facebook and social media and that he's read. You know, he's got a list of a hundred things and he's scared to start like really even one of them. You know, and God bless him. No, he's great. He's, he's, he was killing it and he's doing his best and he's coming through it. We've been talking through it and, we're, and we've been helping each other out a bit. It's always good to have a good, you know, support system. But uh, but on the other end, it's also good to start to, to talk about other things besides this stuff because we, we send, we tend to get into this rut, and it's all about we we internalize the world so much that we forget about what else, you know, everything else, and that's really uh, only exacerbates and perpetuates the anxiety. And then another um, person I met. Um, like to think she's a good friend now from across the other side of the world you know so it's not just it affects everybody you know it does affect everybody and everybody knows the truth they know that it's the the breakdown of our society that really um, contributes to the mental diseases in this country and the in the world um, so there's a lot we can do to sort of try to take back control of of that. But um, like, how how do you go running? You know, how do you start to implement healthier routines if you're so tired and depressed you can't even get out of bed? You know. Um, oh yeah, and I had a you know one of my friends. I was so shocked because even though my family doesn't fully get it, they they're they're supportive. Um, but I was very high functioning and I was always the person people came to to do things for them and, and now I can't even do you know I can barely do things for myself but what was I saying okay what was I saying yeah right um, so oh yeah so he had me on a third way call which was very uncomfortable I was on mute listening to him talk to his grandparents about what he's going through and they're like oh just get a job when we were your age we just got three jobs four jobs you know like you're just lazy it's terrible man and then sometimes you know people's girlfriends boyfriends they'll say they'll say things unsupportively that um, you know just actually make it worse because they don't understand and people are crying out for help and they need they need attention they need the proper attention and support and respect because oftentimes the people that don't get it, they're the ones that can sort of push people over the edge. And um, so I just never really from those channels, I mean, holy, sh holy shit, right? I mean, gosh, 
oh, people are crazy. People are people don't understand it, you know. But um, anyway, I was hoping to get some feedback from you guys about um, like things that have worked for you, whether it was medication. Yeah, let me know like in your in the comments below like what what medication worked for you, what didn't work. Um, whether CBD oil, you know, natural stuff, ashwagandha, whether it was, um, I'd really love to get some keto, some keto love on here, okay, because I'm, I'm really gearing up to do that. I don't eat gluten, I eat a semi-healthy paleo-ish diet, but I've been cheating lately because I've just been like not giving a crap, so, but, 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 I just ate a sub, okay, a wheat sub. And I instantly almost, you know, I feel like heart palpitations, extreme anxiety right now. And um, I'm pretty sure it was a sub, so. That's something that uh, I know is a factor, is food. So I'm really going to start to try to take back control of that. And, you know, i got people out there that I talk to that don't have any support systems, have nobody. And then when you're depressed, you don't, you're running out of money. You don't, like, what are you going to do? man you gotta pray you gotta get right with the with god and with your spirit and um and ask him to open some doors for you because i'm very blessed in those ways i'm very blessed right now that i have um, at least you know some money coming in and um you know that sort of thing. I'm I'm alone a lot. I like to be alone. I don't really like to be around people. I'm trying to break into that. Uh, I'm trying to break into that a little bit more. Opening some proverbial doors, actual doors. Um, but it's difficult because I've never really known how to be around people sober. I don't really understand the point of it. <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, I don't. It's just I always, from 13, I was drinking while I was hanging out with people. So it sucks, man. It sucks. Why are we going through this crap? It never ends. I'm just kidding. It does end. We just got to find the right solution, the right balance that's gonna work. hear some music sorry oh I'm just super tired today I'm trying to get my sleep down so yeah this was just a sort of you know just a quick chit chat you know on here really I just feel like if I had some energy I'd be all right I don't know Yeah, I'd like, I want to get y'all's feedback. I really want to see, you know, this keto that's helping y'all. And really, really, I've talked to a couple people, but you know, we're always looking for um, other people to talk to. I don't know. Maybe I could go on a run. What do you think? I don't know. Let's get out here and talk a little bit so you can see the snowfall. Check out this barn. Barn is um, it's like an old. It's been there for a long time. They kind of repurposed it, I think, for like a reception hall where people go to to hang out. Real people. I might need another coat. It's super cold out here. Oh, see the snow. It's pretty. All right, well, I look forward to reading your comments, and, um, and God bless you guys for what you're going through. It's going to get better. Uh, I'm still in the trenches, but I've seen the other side, and once again, I'm just going through the motions, trying to trying to acclimate. I know meditation, all that stuff is really, really good, so those are some things I'm, start, I'm starting to try to do, thinking outside of the box of medication, even though I'm still sure I need to get on that but or stay you know find the right one sort of thing 
yeah and just about that i'm still on the the lamictal i've kind of going up on 75 i'm trying to decide whether or not it's causing these flu-like symptoms i keep having either that or the nac so yeah so you guys have been very helpful and uh i really appreciate it. i hadn't read your comments for like a really long time and then i was like wow i got all these comments and people are very uh very kind and uh i feel very much supported so We'll keep it going, and uh, let's keep a dialogue. I want to hear your responses, and I'll get back to y'all as I can. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.